162 homes are set to come down in the cool acres and all Saints Way shanty towns in just a matter of days as government looks to get a handle on what officials say is a growing shanty town problem. Our Cleopatra Murphy today visited one of two set for de demolition for residents' reaction. We looking for us. Nobody can find no host. Actually, I can't lie. I'm looking for no host because I don't have no money. When you're looking for host, you're supposed to get money. When you find a host to pay, I ain't got no money. I'm weekend. With the window rapidly closing before she has to vacate her home in the squalor of the Cool Acre shanty town, a 32-year-old Haitian-born mother of seven is pleading to government for an extension before the home she shares with her husband and sister, both unemployed, is torn down Monday. While others in the cramped community also soon to become homeless say they have searched for alternate housing to no avail, unemployed since 2017 with no other family, she publicly admits they have nowhere to go. Everybody pack everything packed inside the most, but we don't know where we're going, if we're going to sleep in a suite or in the car. We don't know nothing. When they come in Monday, everybody going to be in a wood. So they going to mash everything inside the most because we don't know where we're going to put them. That appeal would likely go unanswered, though, as shortly after ZNS News arrived, the Unregulated Communities Action Task Force, comprised of immigration, the Defense Force, police, social services, health and Ministry of Works officials, arrived canvassing the shanty town. While immigration officials confirmed resident status in the country, Works officials posted no trespassing notices. Francois, another resident whose home is also marked for demolition, shared that with many unemployed, they are at a loss what to do next. They could give us a tree mark to help us, like we're looking for us. If we find no horse, they could come back, do whatever would they do after the tree mark. Resigned to what would come, the mother of seven who eventually spoke with social services officials vented. Every day we talking in the news, talking in the news. We talking, they're going to break it. We don't talk, they're going to break it. Like, not sure so if you see coming there, say, we're going to try help y'all, or where we going, when they kid, uh, we have, y'all have the silly, um, citizenship, or y'all have the payment pass, what we going to help y'all. While all residents will not get aid, Minister of Works and Family Island Affairs, the Honorable Clay Sweeting, says Bahamians residing in unregulated communities will receive temporary housing. Meantime, as officials get closer to demolition, Buildings Control Officer in the Ministry of Works, Craig Delancey, says final notices are being posted in the two unregulated communities, including the All Saints Way shantytown. We've posted about uh, 50 plus notices on, in Cool Acres, and um, we hope that persons would adhere to the, the requirements to leave, instructions to leave, and uh, find somewhere else to live. Despite the plea of residents in the Cool Acre shantytown for more time, after years of warning, government is determined that come Monday, these illegal structures will indeed begin to come down. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Cleopatra Murphy. Hello everyone, I'm Fern Carey. Thank you for watching our YouTube page. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for all things said and asked.